Hello everyone and welcome welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day This is your first time on my channel. My name is Sebastian and I welcome you guys with open arms I do pop culture videos every single day So if you're looking for a new messy best friend who is going to give you all the latest tea Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be so incredibly grateful All right, you guys miss Britney Spears pop queen living legend icon dancer of the universe um, twirler of the universe girl listen pop royalty miss britney spears i have some tea on her so grab a snack and a drink um this is rather serious actually yesterday a judge ordered uh britney spears's ex whatever he was um jason alexander to stand in trial for breaking in and trying to crash her wedding um most importantly because he was also carrying a weapon not only that but he really was in, in there trying to get to Britney. Well, it's re being reported that four witnesses yesterday in the courtroom said that Britney Spears was actually in her bedroom when this happened. Now, I'm not sure if this is true. This is what's going on right now. Um, there was other reports saying that Britney and Sam were not in the residence at the time. But I, I mean, if you're getting ready for your wedding, your wedding is in the backyard you're most likely in the house my whole thing is that this what this day could have really been ruined for her the lack of professionalism from these security people was in like to the floor and i'm so glad that britney fired them all i can't help okay this is just my opinion this is my my ideology but I really think it's very suspicious, you guys. I think it's incredibly suspicious that Jason Alexander got so far in that he knew exactly what to do and that the security were literally saying hello to him. You can see it in the live stream. They were, you know, laughing along with him. Look, my opinion, this is my opinion. I honestly think this was a setup. I really think this was a setup from her family. Um, and I'll tell you why. I mean, I don't think that they ever wanted to hurt Britney. Uh, well, I don't actually I take that back, you know, because after 13 years of everything she went through I'll take that one back right now. Um, I mean, I don't think they want, you know To he have heard her but I really do feel like maybe You know, my opinion is this could have just been something to shake her up. I don't know It just seems very suspicious that her security was so like you know, looking the other way, laughing along, thinking this is so fucking funny. Something is up here. Something is up. And I will I will literally tell you that in the future, at some point, they're going to figure out something. Because something is too suspicious. That on her wedding day, with all these security people, Jason Alexander managed to get inside of her house. Okay? Listen, the her security team does not play. All right? Her security team does not play. I have seen, you know, in concerts, I have heard stories from meet and greets. I have seen it all. Of course, a lot of things were not her security, but her conservatorship of uh, putting all of these like rules and regulations. Maybe they, you know, Brittany and Sam, now that they, you know, Brittany is in charge, you know, now they probably decide like, let's just get like a, you know, security team. Maybe they don't have to be that strict like they once were in, when I was in conservatorship. I don't know. But they just seem too relaxed. You know, they all seem too like chill and like, yeah, hey, Jason, what's up, girl? You know what I mean? So it just seems to me that there's, there was some kind of setup, in my opinion. Um, and I, I hate to believe that that's the case. But you know what? These people are so damn shady. I wouldn't put anything past them. The people Britney had around were so damn shady. And, you know, this really could have ruined her day. It really could have put just an awful pause to her day. Because Britney is uh, nervous. Um, you know, she does have nervous um, energy. And, you know, Britney does get very anxious. And, you know, if something like this happens or, you know, he would have gone into the room, I really think this would have really, really done some damage to her like anyone else, you know? Can you imagine you're on your wedding, your wedding day and you're getting ready and, you know, you're putting on the contour and, you know, you're having a glass of champagne and then in walks your fucking stupid ass ex-husband, 
with a, with a weapon and a life and, and, and recording it all. Like, what do you do? What do you, you know, anybody in their right mind would be shaken up. And because of everything Brittany has gone through, I believe it would have affected her even more. So it honestly, first of all, I'm just so happy that her wedding was a total success and that she had the best time ever. I'm also very happy she moved. I'm glad that she moved and she has new energy. She has a new, you know, just like new vibes, new energy, new everything, you know, in that house that she once was before. I, I really do believe she went through so much, so many heartaches, so many tears were shed in this house, so many bad memories. And now she gets to live and start new energy. You know, hopefully she sages, you know, hopefully she, she just brings in all this great energy and she starts a new life because, you know, Brittany, she really has gone through so much and, you know, she hasn't been able to enjoy the smaller things in life, you know, going to the grocery store, you know, um, buying a cell phone, like all these things that, you know, because of her conservatorship, you know, she wasn't, she wasn't really able to live a normal life like everyone else. Um, but I'm just so excited for Britney and this new era. And I hope that her ex-husband gets the help he needs in jail and as far away from Britney as possible. Because what he did was so disgusting and so low and just, he's such a fucking scumbag, okay? And I hope, honestly, I hope he stays in jail for a very long time. You don't do that to somebody, especially to somebody who is coming out of a very fragile state and on her wedding day. You know what I mean? And that just goes to show the people that are around you. Now, I'm not, you know, I've read, well, actually, no, Jason Alexander has said that he has run into Britney's dad uh, multiple times in gas stations and stuff around town and that he's always been very nice to him. So it just seems to me, it just seems very, very shady. It seems very weird. It just... It, the whole thing doesn't sit right with me. Going in, the security's not really doing anything till the end. You know, it just doesn't seem right. And, you know, I hope that Britney's new team is like the freaking CIA. I hope that they don't, you know, I hope that they make her feel so incredibly safe and comfortable. I also hope they don't overstep their, 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 you know, their their rights of like being, you know, the, the ones in charge with Britney. They, Britney is their boss. They need to listen to Britney. It is whatever Britney wants at whatever time Britney wants. That's why they're there. If Britney wants the, the all her security guards to stand outside her damn door and, and it goes along with the security guard guides of, of work, uh, uh, of good work environments, then stand there. You know what I mean? Um, but I just want Britney to feel safe. I want her to feel happy. And I hope Jason Alexander honestly just stays there and gets the help he obviously really needs because it is super obvious that that man is not well. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, if you love Britney, leave a, a purple heart down below. I love Britney so much and I'm just so happy to see her happy. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so incredibly much for all that you do for me. The commenting, liking, subscribing, the support and the love. I really do appreciate you and I'm very grateful for you. And I'll see you guys in my next video.